So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is taking you guys through the five most important things that you need to know when it comes to starting a YouTube automation business. Now I'm currently in the process of building up my own YouTube automation business, but just generally speaking, I've managed to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit from YouTube channels. So I definitely know a thing or two that's gonna help you out if you're currently a complete beginner. So jumping straight into one of the first things that you're going to need to be aware of at the start of your journey, which is that you need to understand the business model. So there's a lot of people out there that still don't fully understand exactly how YouTube automation works and how it just differs from a regular YouTube channel. So to give you a basic understanding of what's going to be involved, basically you're going to first and foremost need to understand the different elements that goes into producing a YouTube video. So for example, we've got the video right there, we've then got the video script. Then it's gonna be a case of actually making the first draft of the video, then it's gonna come down to editing that video. From there, the next element is gonna be the YouTube SEO in terms of coming up with a good YouTube title as well as a really good thumbnail. These are some of the main elements that goes into producing a fully edited YouTube video that's gonna be ready to be uploaded. But when it comes to the automation side of things, essentially the goal is to automate each of these different elements so that you don't have to do anything besides paying for them to be completed. So that's basically a simple understanding of how this business model works. Now there is some other things that you need to be aware of. For example, you don't necessarily need to pay for all of these different elements. If you wanted to do something yourself, for example, let's say the voice over part of it, you wanted to use your own voice, then you're of course gonna be able to do that. Or let's say for example, if you're good at editing, and you wanted to pay for all of the other things to be done, then you can of course edit the video yourself. If anything, it's gonna be recommended for you to do some of it yourself so that number one, you're gonna be able to reduce cost, and number two, you're gonna be able to be involved in the production of the video, which means that you're gonna be a little bit more hands-on and you're gonna be able to also figure out how you can make some changes, what's working, what's not working, because you're actively involved. And this is also something I would recommend that you do, especially if you've never been involved with a YouTube channel before and you've also never made a video before. It's always a smart idea to make sure that you've got the skills of certain parts of making videos, just in case you're going to have to do it yourself in the future, let's say if one of your editors or one of your freelancers are not available. But moving on to the second thing that I believe is very important that you guys need to be aware of if you are a beginner when it comes to starting a YouTube automation business, which is that you need to pick a profitable niche. And when I say profitable niche, by this what I mean is that when it comes to the central theme of what your videos are going to be about, it's always advised to make sure that you do the right research so that you pick a niche that's going to pay you a decent amount of money. And of course, it's not all about money. You have to enjoy the videos that you're making because if you solely focus on money, then eventually you're gonna end up not running that channel anymore. But if you're able to, let's say, pair a high paying niche with advanced knowledge and passion about that particular topic, from that point, that's where you're gonna be able to make money. And when I say advanced knowledge, I'm not saying that you need to be the smartest person when it comes to the types of videos that you're going to make. But as I just said, it's always good to make sure that you've got passion and you've got advanced knowledge more than the common person, because this is gonna put you at a competitive advantage when it comes to all of the different videos that you're going to be releasing. I would say that one common mistake that I see so many beginners making is that they pick a topic that they have no clue on exactly what's involved in it and they leave that to someone else and that isn't really the best way to do it because by hiring someone else and relying on their knowledge if that person eventually leaves then you're going to get to a point where you're not going to be able to know what videos are the best ones to make so always make sure that you've got advanced knowledge you've got passion about the topic or the niche that you pick and also make sure that you pick a high paying niche as well and this is something that I didn't really realize when I first got started. I didn't realize that some types of videos pay more than others. I just got into what I felt like was the best for me and what I believed I was gonna be able to make videos about. When in reality, YouTube pays a lot more for specific types of videos in comparison to other types of videos. To give an example of what I'm talking about, I've got this chart right here or this table where I've broken down some of the high paying categories or niches that you might wanna be aware of. So things like make money online, online business, cryptocurrency, the stock market, social media, personal finance, tech, spirituality, forex, e-commerce, career content, and digital marketing. These are some of the few types of niches that pay really, really well on YouTube when it comes to AdSense, when it comes to 
other monetization methods that I'm going to speak about later on in this video. So again, I'm not saying that you need to pick any one of these, especially if you don't have any knowledge on how any one of these work. It will always be better for you to pick a topic that you know that you care about and you're interested in. But if you are interested in any one of these different topics and you've got knowledge more than the common person, then it'll be better for you and your YouTube automation business over the long run to pick any one of these. And to give you a little bit more information as to why these particular videos tend to make a lot more money, it's mainly due to Google AdSense. So these are those ads that you see being played at the start of a video, sometimes in the middle. Those five second ads that you have to skip, whenever you see one of them, the person's video that you're watching has made a portion of the ad revenue. And the advertisers that are running those ads tend to make a lot more money when it comes to selling products in relation to any one of these different topics. But swiftly moving on to the third most important thing that you're going to need to know and that you need to be aware of, which is that you need to then figure out exactly how to find the best freelancers. Now, when it comes to running this particular online business model, YouTube automation, again, you're going to obviously need freelancers when it comes to helping you produce the content. And one of the best websites that I've gone onto when it comes to finding quality freelancers, while well, it's the most common one that I use these days, which is Upwork. So Upwork is a website that I use mainly because I'm able to read the reviews of all of the different freelancers that are on there. And the main way that I use it is by going over to it just like this and posting a job by going over to jobs and then clicking on post a job just like that. And then I click on all of the requirements that I want from the person that I'm looking for. And once I've done that, I'm then gonna be presented with so many different freelancers that I can choose from, depending on what type of freelancer I'm looking for. And to give an example of what it would look like, let's say if I was looking for a video editor, I'm gonna be able to scroll through and see what their job success rate is, how much money they've made in general. As you can see, this one's made over $2,000. This one over here has made $10,000 and this one over here has made over $30,000. And one tip that I wanna give you is to ideally stay away from a brand new freelancer that hasn't made any money and they've got no reviews. Because of course it's gonna be very difficult when it comes to you knowing if that's someone that you should use over the long term. So when it comes to finding freelancers, this is definitely the best place to go on to. Now I do need to let you guys know that it is quite expensive, mainly because Upwork takes a certain percentage of the money that you've agreed when it comes to negotiating with the particular freelancer. So what you can do is use them maybe two, three, four times directly on the Upwork platform because that way you're going to get some sort of a guarantee and then you can find a way of getting their email address and just doing business with them outside of Upwork so that you're going to be able to reduce the amount of money that you pay them. And again, you're going to be able to use this platform when it comes to finding all of the different people that you need when it comes to creating the video, the editor, the voiceover actor, the thumbnail maker, or if you wanted to find one person that's going to manage all of it for you, they're going to go away and find all the people and freelancers that you need, then you can do that as well. As you can see, I've just typed in YouTube automation and there's multiple different people all around the world that are going to be able to help you when it comes to getting your YouTube automation business off the ground. But swiftly moving on to the fourth thing that I think that you guys should bear in mind, which is that you need to make sure that you're focusing on building up momentum. And by this, what I mean is that you need to make sure that you're focused on solely putting out quality content over a long period of time and that you're focused primarily on building up an audience. For me, when it comes to starting new YouTube channels, my main aim is to put out at least 30 different videos and get some sort of traction going before I start thinking about making a lot of money. Now, of course, there is ways that you can monetize your YouTube channel from day one, which I'm gonna speak about in a moment. But when it comes to getting started with a brand new channel, the main aim of the game is to build up momentum, build up views on a daily basis, build up your watch time, and figure out exactly what type of videos your audience wants to see. Because once you get to around 30 videos, from that point, you're going to see that certain videos are doing better than others, which means that you can now prioritize your time when it comes to releasing the type of videos that your audience wants to see and they're gonna engage more with. And this is another mistake that I see so many beginners making, which is that they end up giving up too soon. They maybe put out, let's say, three videos, five videos, six videos, and completely give up because they haven't built up any sort of momentum when that isn't the way to do it. YouTube by no means is a get rich quick scheme and it requires a certain level of discipline, a certain level of consistency. And it's all about building up that trust and that connection with your audience. If you're primarily focused on building up momentum and building up your channel and putting out quality content, before you know it, the money's 
is going to come. If there's one thing that I've learned about building up YouTube channels is that value always comes first and then the money comes second. And speaking of money, this actually now brings me to the final thing that I wanna talk about in today's video that you guys need to know when it comes to doing YouTube automation, which is that you need to monetize in multiple different ways, especially if you're looking to get to the point of making over $100 per day in profit. And when I say that you should monetize in so many different ways, this is because there's multiple different streams of income that you can build up from your YouTube automation business that you should think about before you get started so that you can gradually build them up steadily over time. When I first started building YouTube channels, I wasn't aware of this. I always felt like there was one way that you can make money, which was with Google AdSense. And yes, Google AdSense should be the first way that you should think about making money from your channel because it's the most passive. You don't really have to put in too much work. The only work you have to put in is of course, release the videos. And you also have to meet the AdSense requirements which I believe at the time of me recording this video is around 500 subscribers. And you also have to get around 3000 watch hours. So Google AdSense is definitely a decent way to start earning money from your channel as long as you're able to meet those requirements and you've got a decent amount of views. But there's some other ways that you can monetize your channel, for example, by doing brand deals. So once you start building up engagement and viewers on your channel, and it doesn't even need to be hundreds and thousands of subscribers, it could be even 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, you're gonna be eligible to start getting brand deals. I got one of my first brand deals when I probably had around 2,000 subscribers, maybe 3,000 subscribers, and it was a decent amount of money. So this is definitely a great way to bring in some sort of income from your YouTube automation business. Another way that you can monetize is by selling your own products and services. So it's actually very easy when it comes to building your own digital product, packaging it up, and making sure that it's going to provide value to your viewers in one way, shape, or form. That's why it's very important to make sure that the central theme of what your video is about is super clear because this is going to make it even easier for you when it comes to providing some sort of a service or building a digital product that you're going to be able to sell, which is ultimately going to help you bring in a passive source of income. And if you wanted to see me make a full video breaking down step by step exactly how you can build your own digital product from scratch, then put in the comments down below, do the digital product video and I'll get onto that ASAP. And yes, I do believe that selling your own product and service is a great way to bring in a source of income from your YT automation business. But another way that you can monetize if you didn't wanna go through the hassle of building your own digital product is by selling someone else's, which is commonly known as affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is probably one of the best ways to start making money from a brand new channel within the first week, within the first two weeks, of course, depending on what type of videos you put out and depending on what type of traction you get when you first start. But you're gonna have the option to start earning affiliate commissions if you build your channel in the right way. For me personally, I love doing affiliate marketing because I was able to go from zero to over $100,000 in profit with my affiliate marketing business from multiple different streams all over the internet. So this is something that I truly believe in and it's something that I recommend a lot of beginners to look into. Now, I'm not gonna be able to spend too much time in today's video when it comes to breaking down the key things that you need to know when doing affiliate marketing as a beginner because this video is gonna end up being two hours long. But if you wanna watch a completely free webinar where I explain my story of exactly what I needed to know, what I needed to do to put me on the path of being able to make over $100 per day, $200 per day, $1,000 per day, then you can sign up for that free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you also wanna watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down some other key things that you need to know when it comes to being able to make a passive source of income using the internet, then make sure that you click the link right there. Check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.